pretty, okay. okay. <laughs> Perfectly adequate. <laughs> uh, before I get started, I don't know if you guys have been watching these music videos I've been playing on loop. I just watched Pat Benatar's Love is a Battlefield music video. I don't know if you know this, or like know the storyline for that video, but um, she gets, runs away from home to follow her dreams, she goes to New York, ends up as a prostitute, and escapes from him. Now, I don't, is there any prostitutes in the audience right now? Just raise a hand. No? Not anymore. Okay, good. <laughs> but, uh, maybe you can confirm this, but dance fighting is not a way to escape a pimp. <laughs> Just, I hate you, Slick Rick. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the bottom of your list. Knife to the jugular, number one. But yeah, uh, great way to start a show. Obscure music video reference? Check. <laughs> yeah, but welcome to Chilku Charlie's. I don't know if you're like me, but you're waiting to go home to take a dump. <laughs> this bathroom should just, instead of men and women, it should say hepatitis A and C. I just went in there and there was like blood on the toilet seat. I don't know, just check the person next to you because we need to get this guy to a hospital staff. <laughs> yeah, so um, kind of in a weird place right now. I, uh, I got a text from my stepdad. That was meant for my mom. Um, basically, the text said, um, Can't wait to see you tonight, baby, so I can lick you all over. <laughs> just, just give me a second. Just, just yikes. How do I respond to that? First, I don't even know. He liked me that way. <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to say? Uh, thanks, but I licked myself all over this morning. <laughs> Flexible like a cat. <laughs> that might turn him on. <laughs> it's just, I, don't, I forwarded the good news to my mom. Like, hey, guess what's happening? <laughs> and, you know, she responded back, like, your stepdad is a passionate man. <laughs> Give me another second. Just... <laughs> I, oh. No, stop it. <laughs> that, that, that's a heavy load for a Tuesday. It's, I don't know how you come back from that. Because I don't like to imagine my parents having sex. If you ask me like how I was born, other than tell you the stork brought me or immaculate conception. Take your pick. My mom did not bang anyone. <laughs> but yeah. As you can tell, I'm not a parent. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not. I can barely take care of myself. I found like a piece of chicken in my pants, and like I, I haven't even eaten chicken. Like, where did this come from? <laughs> but um, I'm not a parent, mostly because I'm a devotee of the morning after pill. This thing is a godsend. Thank you. <laughs> And, uh, it's, and like women, like you kind of like it, but you also complain about it. Like I ask them, it's like, yeah, it makes me feel bloated for like a week. As opposed to being pregnant for nine months. <laughs> As opposed to having a living thing inside you, eating all your food. Not following your logic here. So, they're talking about making like a morning after pill for men, which I am 110% behind. I mean, they're asking men, like, would you take it? Yes, you know, yes, of course I would take it. I would sprinkle it on my cereal every morning. <laughs> uh, my pockets would be jammed full of it. You know, instead of chewing gum, I'd just, ah, morning after, we're great. <laughs> I would, like, put it in an IV bag and stick it in my arm and just walk around all day with that thing. My, the inside of my balls would look like a ghost town. <laughs> just one sperm just running around. Where did everyone go? <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I'm also single, so... <laughs> Actually, let me uh, repeat that. Ladies, I'm also single. <laughs> no takers? Okay. That's fair. But um, I broke up with my girlfriend, and when I broke up, I was like, yes, you know, I'm free. I have to go out and party my face off. I get to go talk to girls. But then I thought, like, oh, shit. I have to go talk to girls. <laughs> because believe it or not, talking a girl into having sex with you is a pretty daunting challenge for me. <laughs> believe it or not. And um, you know, it's it's not easy. 
And like the way I combat that is by like drinking a lot because like I have nothing interesting to say. Like what am I gonna do? Like walk up to you and go, hey, look at this text from my stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, like, I'll drink a lot, and it fills me full of confidence. So I'll go up to a girl after, like, doing a bunch of shots, and we'll, like, I'll go up to her and go, you're as beautiful as Alaskan sunrise. It makes it sound local. <laughs> but in reality, I'll walk up to her, and I'll just go, hey, have you seen the sun? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my bad. No. <laughs> You know, so, ladies, if I walk up to you and vomit on your shoes, you're what I call a keeper, so. <laughs>